hope you are well. I have been doing some online shopping and the reason is because I wanted to show you guys the kind of things that I look for when I'm looking for clothes to take with me backpacking. So I guess it's a slightly different video for you today because I'm going to be doing a try on haul of all of the clothes that I have purchased and my review of how I think they would be as an item of clothing to take backpacking. And I really hope that this video is useful and that I can do it again with other brands and shops in the future. Because in this video I just shopped on two websites and that was H&M and ASOS. But as you can see that was loads of stuff already I've ordered some shorts, trousers, play suits and jumpsuits. If you've seen my packing videos before you may know how important clothing is to me on a backpacking trip and how it's important to find the most practical and functional clothes possible that also make you look and feel good. And you also may know I have my own clothing line backpackingsolo.shop but because of the pandemic that's just been taken to an annoyingly massive halt right now because I can't meet up with the designers and be creating the clothes that I want to right now. But do stay tuned because it shouldn't be long now before I can start working on that again and there will be new things to come. But anyway on with the video. So first I picked up this lilac pair of shorts. These ones were from ASOS, but the brand was called Significant Other. These were massively reduced, down from something like 120 quid to about 50 quid. And I chose them because I thought that the lilac color was so, so, so pretty. And it also has pockets. And I like the fact that the pockets are really discreet on here as well. Obviously they're not zipped, which is what we really want, but that's very, very rare to find in clothing at least there are pockets in the first place. I'm a bit torn with these because I think they're really, really pretty, but I almost feel like there's almost a bit too much material to them. And that I wouldn't be able to fold them up super, super small in my backpack, but they are really cute. They're really cute for daytime and for nighttime, and they feel really good quality. I like the fact that they're elasticated and have this so that even if I gained a bit of weight or lost a bit of weight on my travels, it doesn't matter. That's very, very important. And before we go on, I should probably mention I am typically a UK size 10. I've ordered most of these clothes in the UK size 10, but some of them are in a 12 because they had run out of 10s. So I guess we'll see how they go throughout the video, but these I believe are a 10. Now these shorts are from H&M in a very similar colour to the other ones except these ones have a sort of very stretchy denim material. The material is actually very soft and comfy but I'm just not feeling the shape of these shorts. These are in a size 10. Firstly I feel like they make my bum look flatter than it is which is not the effect that I generally want. But also I feel like they come up a little bit too high and a bit of a weird shape generally. Here. I feel like these shorts are just stealing my curve. They do have pockets, but because of them being a bit tighter, it's harder to get your hands fully in these pockets. I think if you're gonna bring something with a slightly thicker denim -y material, then they have to be really, really good for all functionalities. Like every inch in your backpack is precious, valuable space and each item needs to own its place there. So yeah, I don't think I would go for these ones. I always think it's a good idea to have at least one pair of active wear shorts when you go backpacking, for all of the hikes that you're probably gonna do or just the hot weather days where you wanna be pretty active. So I picked these ones up from the active wear section of H&M. And I've gotta say my first impressions compared to my Gymshark ones, which I have already, these are quite cool to look at. I think that they're flattering and I think that they're something that I would wear. But immediate cons, there's no pockets. They also feel quite cheap. I'm not too sure how long these would last. But also there's this thick waistband, which I think would take up a lot of room in your backpack. So comparing it to the shorts that I already have, I don't think for backpacking that these are an upgrade. These next pair of shorts are also from H&M in a size medium. And I think that this beigey color can be a really, really nice color to travel with when you're backpacking. However, for these shorts, dare I say it, I feel like I almost look a bit too casual. I would definitely wear these as like sport shorts and they're softer than the other ones. They do have a pocket. They are lightweight as well. The good thing about this color is that it does go with many other colors. Do you know what, the more I actually look at myself in these, the more I'm like, actually, they're quite nice. I think we could put these in a maybe pile actually, because maybe if I was wearing them with a different top and I actually threw some shoes on, it would less look like pajamas and more look like actual walking shorts. I can't quite believe I'm showing you this, but this final pair of shorts, I'm so sad. I can't get them over. <laughs> over my upper thighs and under my bum. They're a UK size 10. I know I've gained some weight in lockdown, but I don't think I've gained that much. I'm worried about trying to force them on and then either not being able to get them off or like breaking them. I mean, I'm 
I'm actually genuinely really upset about this because I was excited about these shorts because they're really lightweight, they've got pockets. I almost thought that these were going to be the perfect fake denim shorts. Like the waist is elasticated but not that elasticated. Can you see that? So there's this button here and then it just stops where I feel like there should be it would only make sense for there to be a zip. Anyway, these are the shorts. They're really, really cute and they kind of look like denim ones, but the material is like super, super lightweight. And I struggle to find denim shorts to find to take backpacking. So I, I thought these were gonna be really good. Maybe I'll try and get these in a 12, but I do then worry that it might be too big around the waistline. It's just getting it over my ass. That's the problem. Okay, next we have a really lightweight and soft pair of stretchy like trousers. I'm a bit disappointed about these because I think the fact that they stay slim fitted a lot further down the leg than what I would like and I think that makes them look a lot more uh, formal almost. Like stretchy work trousers which is not what we want to take backpacking. Also there's no pockets. I mean I think it makes my bum look good but I think that's just about the only pro of these trousers. Now these are the exact same trousers as the other ones but in this like khaki green colour which I think is really really pretty. Again with these I'm just not totally sold on the silhouette it gives me, how it's slim for just a little bit too long which could make people think that these are work trousers. I really like how stretchy they are though, like seriously they are really flexible but there's also no pockets. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to be strict and say it's a no. All right, now a white pair of trousers. I think these do flare out a little bit nicer than the other ones. However, this is the H&M Basics range and this is the world's itchiest material. I'm not even joking you, so I'm not even gonna try on the other pair of the H&M Basics trousers that I have in the same but a different color because it's the same material and they just don't feel nice. These ones also don't have pockets but the reason that I picked them up just to humour them in the first place is because I just thought if they're really comfortable and really flattering then that could perhaps warrant a space in the backpack but alas they are not. They're also pretty see-through and that is not good for anyone. But these on the other hand, these are the last pair of trousers that I have from h and and I like the colour for backpacking. I think it's a really practical colour and it also goes with all the other colours. I love the elasticated waist, love that it has pockets, obviously. I also think that the general shape of these is just much better because it flares out just a little bit higher, which I think is a lot more flattering. Um, they are not as flexible and I think the main thing that's really putting me off these right now is just the material in general. It's not super soft. By the way, I picked these trousers up in a small. I'm really, really surprised because it says that these are 75% viscose and 25% polymer. And normally in my experience, viscose is like super, super soft, whereas these just don't feel super, super soft. I think I'm gonna hang on to these and I have like a longer contemplate about them. And now moving on to play suits. I picked this one up from ASOS, but it's actually uh, Billabong. And I love the color. I don't often go for things which are like bright red, but this is really, really cute. I think I could wear it in the daytime and in the nighttime. I have had to take my bra off for it, but I actually think it works without the bra. I have mentioned before that I do struggle to find items of clothing where I don't have to wear a bra, where it doesn't just look, make my boobs look so saggy. I'm a 32 double G and a lot of the time that is a really hard size to manage. But I don't feel that not wearing a bra here makes them look too droopy. And also because they're kind of like contained in their own little pockets, they don't move around too much either. What is this sorcery? This was quite an expensive play suit. I wonder if it says the price on the tag. It says 58 pounds and I think I actually got it on sale for about 48 pounds. And the material is kind of like a slightly thicker linen-y, but it's still really, really soft. It's not scratchy at all. And I don't know about you, but I think this is really flattering. I think it pulls me in at the waist where I want to be pulled. It has pockets. The back is probably my least favorite part of it because I think it looks very sporty from the back. But I like the fact that it has adjustable strap. I like the fact that I can tighten and this to as tight or as loose as I want it, depending on how much weight I lose or gain on my trip. I'm really, really pleasantly surprised with this because when I saw it online, I was like, oh, I don't know, like, I'll go for it just to give it a try. And even when I hung it up here, I was like, oh, I don't know. And now it's on. This is so cute. I'm keeping it. Of course I am. It's from freaking Billabong. I'm so predictable. If something's from Rip Curl, Billabong or Roxy, there's like a 95% chance that I'm gonna like it. Okay, and now we're switching back to H&M and this is just hilarious how long these straps have come, like straight out of the uh, 
straight out of the packet. Right, I think I'm going to adjust these straps and come back to you. Okay, so I've just put my low impact sports bra on from Urban Outfit. It's the same one I had on before. And yeah, I, I, I quite like it. I'm not too sure about the silhouette it gives me. Like when I, when I haven't like played around with it at all. Like when I'm just wearing it like this, I feel like I look a bit funny. But I feel like if I like hoist it up a bit and have my hands in my pockets and like, you know, stand at an angle, then I think it looks all right. But is that enough to make it a good backpacking piece of clothing? Mm. I really like the back. I think the back is a really flattering shape. And maybe it's because it needs an iron that it looks a bit meh from the front. But no one has an iron when they're backpacking and it's gonna get scrunched up in your backpack anyway. I really, really like the color, this kind of like muted gray teal. I think that that's a really nice color to travel with. I'm quite undecided. It's pretty comfy and it has pockets. And this is nice and stretchy and elasticated. What will it look like with a backpack on? My backpack is very empty, so it's gonna look a bit weird. Oh, I like that. I really like that look when I've got my backpack on. I look like a real backpacker. I think that's the colour and the way it sits on me that's making me feel like that. I can imagine myself walking around Southeast Asia looking like this. Okay, it's totally grown on me and I like this play suit and I'm keeping it. Now moving on to jumpsuits. Now this one is from H&M and I ordered it in a 12 because they didn't have any 10s in stock. And now I'm really gutted they didn't have any 10s in stock because I really like this. It's a really soft material that's deceivingly stretchy. I think the shape is really, really nice. I think that's really, really flattering. I like the button detail on the top. I like, obviously, that we've got pockets. I do wonder whether this one would get a bit too sweaty in hot countries, though. But yeah, unfortunately, I do just think that the 12 is a little bit too big for me, because even though like I've, I've pulled this in as much as I can at the waist, as you can see, that's like pulled it in a lot and there's a lot of material gathering there and to the point where I think it looks a bit weird and I definitely think I need the size down. I guess another concern I have with it also is that perhaps it's a bit smart for backpacking. I think if I was in Europe, this would be bloody perfect. But if I was in Thailand, I'd probably feel quite overdressed and quite hot in it. Let me see what it looks like with the backpack. I think that's super chic. I feel really like, cool with my backpack and this jumpsuit on. I'm gonna try and purchase this jumpsuit in a 10 because I think it would be perfect for some trips. Not all trips, but really, really good for pretty much all of Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Canada. Like, there's definitely wear out of this. Now, I didn't realize before, but this is actually the exact same play suit as the other one, just in a different color. And this one I managed to get in a 10, so now we can actually know what the fit of the other one would look like. And I am in love. This is such a perfect jumpsuit for me. In terms of the fit, I think it's really, really flattering. I think this is the kind of thing that you can take into the day, into the night. We've got pockets here. Like I said, this material is deceivingly stretchy. The only thing is I think it'll be a little bit too sweaty in the hot country. So like I said, I'd probably wear this like backpacking non-tropical countries. But yeah, I really just think on me that the size 10 just fits a lot nicer. Like it's still bunching in the middle, but not half as much as on the other one. And I really like this color as well. This beigey colour. Imagine wearing something like this, just like on safari in Africa. You'd look so freaking cool. Yeah, I like that. I look like a real flash packer, like a proper fancy backpacker. But I obviously know I'm super comfy in this. I could definitely like sit on a bus for long journeys in this. I just think this is really, really cool. I'm so pleasantly surprised. Right, we have two more jumpsuits to try on. This is another one that I didn't manage to get in a size 10. This is a size 12 and it is definitely a little bit too baggy. But again, this one is really, really nice. I think because of the stripes, this one is a little bit more bold. So it's something that I am a bit less likely to take traveling because obviously when you're backpacking, you're wearing the same things day in, day out. You don't really want to wear something that's too bold because obviously, well, unless you want everyone to know you in that one particular bold look. But I generally think it's better to stick with block colors for clothing when backpacking. But this is really, really nice. I think I would definitely wear it at home. It has pockets. The material is not quite as stretchy on this one and it's not quite as soft. 
but I do still really, really like it. I love the thick bow in the middle and I really like these button up here. And I'm not wearing a bra right now and I don't feel like I look super droopy. But saying that, I do still think it's still quite baggy around here and that I would want a size down to a size 10. But I do think that this one's really nice. I probably just wouldn't take it backpacking. And finally, we have an extremely expensive jumpsuit. I got this one from ASOS, but the brand is Whistles. And I think it was about 120 quid. So generally that is out of my price range for clothes, but I am a strong believer that, that if it is really, really good quality and perfect and you know you're gonna wear it a lot, then it is worth it. Now, unfortunately, again, I, I kept having this situation with ASOS that they just did not have things in my size. They only had either like a size four or a size 24, which like with both of those, I can't even like slightly try and make it work. But this one is a size 12, so I thought I could potentially make it work. <sighs> It's really nice. It is similar to those other ones, but it does just have thicker straps here. I'm wearing a black low impact sports bra right now, and I don't think I would want to wear this without a bra. But this is really comfy. The material is really, really nice. It's pretty stretchy, not overly stretchy. The pockets are nice. They've got lots of depth. I don't know if you can see all the way to my feet here, but yeah, it pretty much goes all the way down. The silhouette is nice on this, and this one actually I feel like is a lighter weight material, but maybe I could actually get away with wearing something like this in a tropical country, because I feel like, yeah, it's a lighter material than those H&M ones. Let's stick the backpack on this one. Yeah. I really like that, and the reason I sound disappointed is because it's so expensive. <laughs> why do I like the expensive ones? But why is it more expensive? Do you reckon like the material's nicer on this one? I'm gonna have a look at the material. Now that I've just taken it off, I've just realised that there's a massive zit down the side that I could have, would have, should have undone if it was too small, but obviously I think that's another indication that I definitely need to size down. If not even perhaps two sizes, I didn't even know that zip was there. What's it made of? Tell me what you made of, ooh. 87% viscose, 13% polyamide. The viscose does make sense as it is nice and soft. <sighs> I'm just not so sure that it's worth 120 quid. 120 quid for a black jumpsuit that doesn't even have zipped pockets. Anyway, that brings us to the end of my backpacker clothing haul. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. I found it useful seeing me going through what I might typically pick out for myself before going on a backpacking trip and the things I look out for in a good piece of clothing. I had a lot of fun filming this video and like I said at the start, I'd love to do more versions of this featuring more brands and more shorts, particularly some sustainable ones, but I don't actually know that many sustainable UK clothing brands. So if you have any recommendations for me, please leave them in the comments and I'll do a shopping spree there and make another one of these videos. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!